women who cause zero drama always win. So when a girl starts to nag, men might want to find somebody who just shuts up and and listens sometimes. Nagging in the like don't nobody want to do that. You don't want this girl that's always, always in your ear. And anytime you see, like she sees you hugging a female, all you must talk to her. Or she sees Shut you texting up. her. Or she IMs you on Facebook. Or just anything. Like mm-hmm. that's what's annoying. It's like stop. Just because I converse with a female does not mean I'm fucking. Shut up. I was just gonna say that nagging is so annoying. But I feel like if you don't nag, you're gonna get annoyed. Like that's an excuse. That's gonna be crazy. No, I feel like we need to make up a different word for crazy. I feel like we have our unstable moments. Is that because men have the ability to think with sense sometimes and women are running off emotion 24-7? That, and I feel like also we, that the double standard crap, I feel like mm-hmm. it's no such thing as that. I feel like women play into it and we believe oh, yeah. that it is. And I feel like it's no dumb standard because I feel like you're human, we're human too. The, the only difference is we have different body parts. But what makes me a hoe if I'm sleeping around with a lot of men in Mexico? I mean, you get what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm a hoe because I'm sleeping around with a I'm not, though. I'm not. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, okay. If I'm sleeping around with a bunch of dudes and then he's sleeping around with a bunch of females, how does that make me a hoe? But you, you the man around camping. You know what I'm saying? You, you big job on camping. Can I, can I?